Hi everybody, sorry I'm a couple minutes late. I had to pick up my garbage that my cat dropped in my craft room. Hope everybody's doing well. For tonight's projects, I am using the Daisy Delight stamp set and matching punch. Um, you'll notice that this is on the retiring list, but it's retiring as a bundle, not out of the catalog. So if you buy the bundle now until June, you'll get it get the product at 10% off. Also, I am using for the flower pot card the ornate border dies. The fern from the painted seasons and I believe the thank you is the th uh, stamped thank you is also from Daisy Delight <clears throat> and I'm using the pressed petal DSP which is also retiring hi do <laughs> yeah it wasn't Iggy do it was Hal and here's the inside of the card and then the little flower pot it was inspired by scrimping mommy and it's actually a slider card little flower pot and if you didn't want to add a sentiment you could add little corners and stick a gift card in here if you wanted to so it just slips right inside it's pretty cute so I think we'll start with this card here. The card base is four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. Then I have a layer of crumb cake, and that is five and a quarter by four. I'll have um, all the measurements on my blog. I did have the PDF just about finished and it all disappeared on me so I have to start it over so I'll have that all on my blog at www.galfridaystamping.com in the morning for all the dimensions and the tutorial for putting this together so you don't have to write anything down so I just layered the pressed petal DSP which is on the retirement list onto the crumb cake and we're just going to snail this down to the front of the card making sure it's even all the way around and then I have a strip of crumb cake which is five and a quarter by one and then the DSP and it's the side that matches this washi tape flower and we're just going to snail these two together I think if I'm not mistaken I'm bringing it right to the edge so we're just going to Lay this down. Trim this off a little bit. And then we're going to snail this to the front of the card. Move it up a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to do the daisy. And all I did was take the Rococo Rose. Let me get a piece of scratch paper because I didn't want it to be 
that dark so we're just going to stamp and then stamp and then we're going to do it again stamp and then stamp just so the ink isn't that dark on the piece of paper. And then we're going to take the punch. Close this up so I don't put my hands in it. And line your stamped image in the punch. good. Punch it out. And then we'll do the other one. So today it was pretty rainy out today. I need to get out and get my lawn cut and I just haven't had a chance because the weather has been terrible. One of these days. So what I did with the daisies is I took my little flower tool and turned it over and I wanted to just give my the petals of my flower a little dimension. And I'm going from the outside in so it curls up. Just so it gives it a little bit of dimension. Turn it over and then just round the center and do it with the other one go from the outside in turn it over and then it gives it like I said gives it a little dimension Then I just added some glue to the center, offset the petals, hold it down for a minute. If it looks like your flower is a little flat, you can always take your bone, <coughs> excuse me, take your bone folder and just give them a little Twirl. And then I just took this little flower, added some glue to the back, and just added it on. Hold it down for a couple minutes, couple seconds, just so that glue has a minute to dry. And just put that aside first minute and we're going to stamp some leaves and this is old olive and let me just wipe this off a minute here okay and I'm using old olive stamp pad and we're just going to stamp three leaves yep, that one's not good Let's stamp another one here away we'll need it for the other card and then I'm going to take the three leaf stamp which is also retiring and we're just gonna line it up and punch them out Come 
and then one more. What is what thing? This thing? It's just, uh, it's to make, give the flowers some dimension, if that's what you're talking about. Okay. So there's the leaves. I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves, just to, just to give them a little bit of dimension. Just going to go straight down the middle from outside in. Not too much, just a little bit, just so they're not laying flat on the card. Just like that. And then we're going to take some glue, add it to the stem. And just tuck it just lift this up a little tuck it right under same thing with the ones on the bottom just gonna tuck it in And then one more. I'll stick this one right here. Okay. Let's see what I did with my little gems. I'm going to take there's my pokey tool. Take one of these gems, stick it right in the middle of the flower. You could add more if you wanted. I just wanted to just put this right in the center. And then I took the scalp, the Rococo rose with that little pearl on it. Scalloped edge ribbon. And this ribbon is pretty hard to tie in a bow, plus the back side is plain. So I took my hot glue gun and just created this little bow. And I'm just going to stick this on to the front of the card. Okay, what I just do with my pokey tool. Here it is. And grab a glue dot. And we're just going to stick it right there. Hey, Margaret. Oh. <laughs> it's a s scrub mat. One side you spray. So you can clean, like, for instance, well, I'll show you. You get ink, you have ink on your stamp. You spray, and I don't even know. Have stamping mist. You spray the pad. Take your stamp and scrub it on here on the wet side and it cleans the ink off and then you scrub it on this side to dry it and now the stamp is nice and clean they even have um just a cloth too i believe so there's the front of the card now we'll do the inside and like i said I just did a very simple inside to the card. So we'll just grab this a filthy mat again. Got a scrap piece of paper so you don't have to look at it. And 
again, like I said, I'll have the dimensions on my blog. I think this is five and three eighths by four and an eighth, and this is five and a quarter by five. So all I did was I took that stamp that I just nicely cleaned. And I don't know if I stamped off or not. I believe I did. Yes. Because I didn't want it that dark. So we're just going to ink up the pad. Stamp. And then stamp on. And I just, just want to do the corners. Do this one upside down. And we'll do this one right side up. Okay. Close this up so I don't get it all over myself. And then we're just going to stamp the sentiment. Again, I'm using, uh, that was the old olive stamped off. And this is the Rococo Rose. And I'm going to stand up so I can get this straight. Take it off of here. Make sure we get it straight and centered. Not bad. And then we're just going to snail this together. Making sure we have this on here straight. I like to try to look at all three sides at the same time, getting those corners. Close this up. I can see myself putting the card in it. And then we're going to put this on the inside of the card. And I just ran out of snail. When waiting and ready to go, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. And make sure we got this the right way. I've done this so many times before where I put the inside of the card upside down. I forgot to mention, if you use the script DSP, you want to make sure that the words are right side up and not upside down. I've done that before, too. And there's the first card. Nice and quick and easy. Send out to someone you need to thank in this very difficult time that we're having right now. So let's jump to... A little flower pot card it's a little slide card very cute and like I said you could always attach a gift card either to the front or you could put little corners on the back and it's a little flower pot so to start out I have a piece that is three and a half by nine and this is the die to um what did i say the ornate borders die and this piece is scored at two and five inches i believe uh two and five and a half and it's going to be folded 
and then this flap is going to be folded down that's the front so i actually opened it up knowing that this was going to be the front i put the die this way and as you can see i had to tape it down to hold it in place so it would cut a nice straight line across so it would have a little decorative edge now we just have to take all these little pieces out I didn't do it before because I wanted to show you how to line up that die and you want to want to place the die on the right side of the paper because you can see I'll, I'll show you as soon as I poke these out okay I don't know if you can tell but there is a distinct difference between the right side and the wrong side when you die cut this uh, edge is a little rough where well, this edge is rounded and smooth I'm just going to cut off this little tiny piece right there. Get rid of all these little pieces. Okay. So this is, so like I said, it's scored at two. Make a nice crisp edge. And then it's scored at five and a half make a nice crisp edge then what you're going to do so you have a little flower pot that's not completely square you're going to measure in at the bottom one quarter of an inch and I'm just going to do this if I don't know if you can see but I did mark and then we're going to do the same thing on this side So this way you have a quarter of an inch on both ends and that doesn't look like it's even. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, and that's a quarter of an inch. And what you're going to do, you can do it with your big cutter or a pair of scissors. You could run a line down with a ruler. But we're just, I'm just going to use my little cutter. Making sure that the ends are even. Lift up your front flap because you don't want to include that. If you look at a real flower pot, the body of the flower pot is narrow at the bottom. Um, wider at the top. And then it has that rim. So what you'll do is you'll line up the line that you just marked and the corner or where the fold is at the top making sure it's even just don't want to that looks good i'm going to just move it a little bit okay and it down okay that's one side I'm gonna do the same thing to this side line up that little line line it up where the score mark is and cut I'm just gonna move this a little bit Ah, that's better. Just get rid of my papers. And there you go. And then when you put this down, the bottom is just a little more narrow than the top. Okay, so before we do anything, I'm just going to open this up. And using the Rococo Rose... I'm just going to stamp this thank you. I'm just going to use my scissors to hold that flat. Just ink up my stamp. 
And we're just going to put this, making sure it's straight, towards the bottom. And stamp. Okay. Close that up. Now, what I did was I took the same DSP side that I used on the first card, and this is a one inch strip, and we're just going to snail this together, get this base, the outside of the card and again you're going to look at the writing make sure the writing is in the right place and it's right side up and then we're going to put this on the front of this little it's almost like an envelope Again, check to make sure your writing is right side up. And we're just going to line this up, making sure it's straight. We're going to have to trim it. There we go. You have a couple minutes while the glue is still wet you do have a couple minutes to move it so it if it's not straight the glue is a little bit more forgiving and we're just going to take a pair of scissors and trim these edges Making sure you don't cut the cardstock of the flower pot. Okay, now that I have that, it's sticky. That's why I didn't want to use my cutter. But now that it is pretty well cut, I'm going to just make sure... It's a nice crisp edge. That looks better. Put that away. Okay. So now the base of this is just about done. All we're going to do is take the scalloped edge linen ribbon. And like I said, bows are pretty hard because the back side is not finished. So all I did was take the ribbon. Wrapped it around the top, and as you can see, I just created a knot because I wanted the right side of this ribbon to be what you saw. So we're just going to turn that a little bit. And tie. Turn it. There we go. And then cut it. Point up. And then we'll do this one. Um, let's do it this way. Point on down. And that's the first part of your card, all finished, quick and easy. Okay, now for the inside. Let me just get the rest of my pieces over here. And I have a piece of crumb cake. Again, matching to the first card, two and seven eighths. 
by four and seven eighths and then a piece of very vanilla and this is four and a half by two and a two and three quarters and I'm just going to take my corner punch. I'm not sure where my stamping up one is, but I'm just going to round all my corners. Same thing with the crumb cake. And this will be for the insert. And before I glue it down, we're just going to stamp some more fern leaves. Again, I'm using old olive. Grab the fern leaf again. And I'm just putting some fern leaves. on this layer and then using the Rococo Rose I want to stamp on your thoughtfulness brighten my day I mean, And I'm just going to put this towards the bottom. Okay. So that is that piece of the insert. We'll just move this out of the way. And quick snail this down. Let's cook it. Let's try it again. Let's go this way. Making sure it's all lined up. Scoot it over. Okay. Now for the flowers. This, I have a piece of Whisper White. And I believe for this flower, again I use the Rococo Rose. And what I did was I stamped it once, I stamped it twice, and then I stamped it a third time because I didn't want these lines to be overwhelming. And I didn't want your eye to be drawn to that color of the flower necessarily. So we're going to st stamp once, stamp twice, and then stamp on our whisper, uh, whis very vanilla. And then you can see the different, how the color changes so completely. We'll just close this up. Grab the daisy stamp. And punch this out. Making sure it's all lined up. And we're going to do the same thing again with these daisies. Using a little ball end from the outside in. Just going to roll those petals up. to 
give them a little bit of dimension, turn it over, and just roll the center. And we're going to do to this one too. Turn it over, roll it out. Now on this one, I actually put a little dimensional in the begin in the middle. Let's see if I put a dimensional to put it on. No. And again offsetting the petals stick your insert in so you can know what you're where you're gonna put everything and then we're just going to add some glue to the back stick it right about there then again if you don't like your petals you can take your bone folder and just give them a little swoosh and it'll just curl them just like you do with your that ribbon that you wrap your gifts with and then I have these little pink flowers and these are actually, again, from the Ornate Border Dies. It comes in this set. And I did them in petal pink. And they do have holes in the middle, but that's okay. Because we're going to put little pearls on them. And just so they didn't look so flat, I actually did the same thing to them. Give them a little height. Turn them over so they're right side up. One, two, three, there should be six. And we're just going to put a piece of paper under here because they're gonna, the glue is going to go through. But we'll assemble these. Give them a couple minutes to dry. And again, alternating your petals a little, offsetting them. So it makes the flower look a little fuller. Add some glue. Pop that in the center. And then it's three layers. We'll let that dry. Do it to the next one. Offset those petals. I'm just going to put these aside for a minute while they dry. And we're going to do this flower here. So what I did was, let me see where my little circle is. I did have a tiny little circle. Okay. No circle to be found. Let me grab a piece out of the garbage. Okay. So we're just going to take a piece of very vanilla. Make a crude circle for a base. Just like this. Okay. Good enough. 
and we're going to use this washi tape again the washi tape is in the clearance center section of on my website and it is actually individual petals and holding it towards the bottom I have to bring this in so you can see oh there's the circle holding it towards the bottom so you still have your sticky piece I just rolled it in some talcum powder to take the stickiness off the top of the flower and then I don't know if you can see and then using the little circle we just cut we're just going to adhere the edge to the circle now we may have gotten it's on there pretty good I'm just gonna the next layer I'm gonna add some glue just to make sure I don't have the powder all over so again we're gonna just grab one of these petals hold it towards the bottom actually roll it in some talcum powder just to get that stickiness off put some right there and then we're going to just layer it over that first petal and this way they're not going to stick together and we're just going to do that I think I did five petals That's three. Just put my finger in it. Take away some of the stickiness. Lay petal number four. And one more. Whoops. I ripped that one. Okay. And then there's the last petal. How? What are you doing? And we can actually, now that it's not sticky, let's get rid of this powder so we don't have a mess. We can actually roll the center a little bit, get the leaves a little crunched up. Grab our card. Oops, that's what I thought. Let's glue this petal on. Add some glue to the back. There we go. And we're going to stick this on this corner. While it's drying, you can always curl up your petals a little bit. And then I took, oops, one of the larger pearls. Stuck it in the middle of this flower. For this flower, I matched the gem on the first card. Go back to these little flowers that we created before. 
We're going to glue these in place. I'm just going to tuck this up under these petals. Like that. Take the second one. Add a little glue. We'll tuck it right under that petal like that so it's over. Should I hold it down? Hold it down for a couple of minutes so it has time to adhere. Make sure it's down. Still comes in and out. Just going to put that aside. Grab our old olive again. And our three leaf, three petal leaf. Put this aside. With the old olive. My pearls keep falling. And we're going to stamp some more leaves. I think I stamped about five for this. Just in case, so we can fill in all that dead space. So let's just do five for now. We don't need them. I can save them for another project. I'm actually working on my next class to go using the floral essence bundle that is, I think it's on the retirement list as a bundle. Okay, let's grab that leaf punch and punch these leaves out. And we're almost done. One. And one more. For these, I think I did give them a little dimension, so they're not lying so flat. Just one little line down the center of the leaves. And you could actually do this with your bone folder if you wanted to. I think it would work the same way, but you wouldn't just have to be careful it doesn't work the same okay and let's grab our card and our glue gonna add a little bit of glue to the stem up these petals and just insert it in there. Grab my little pokey tool just to make sure it's down. Take another one. We'll add it behind this flower here. side all I see is cat hair my 
cat is shedding and he loves coming in here. We'll put this one right here. Let's see, we'll put one on this. One more. We'll just tuck this right under here. And there you go. All finished. Still slides. I hope you like them. If you'd like these make and takes for free, just place a minimum $20 order using this host code um, at www.galfridaystamping.com and I will send you these make and takes for free. You have to do it by Monday. Also, like I said, the dimensions for these cards and the supplies will be on my blog tomorrow morning. Hope you have a great night. Stay safe. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.